It's that time of the year again. Half of it is up. Other half is up next. So this is the first day in what feels like ages that it is not raining yet. I have to close the hatch because somebody decided it would be a great time at nine in the evening to do the floor, to sand the floor. And now I know Matt loves sanding, but I hate the noise. I can't stand it. So I'm trying to avoid it while being in the boat. The good news is we're prepping 2024. Uh, we're actually prepping 2025 by uh, sailing in 2024 and preparing a new route. Still considering if it will be England or Norway or the Azores, actually. But uh, I guess it's going to be Norway, uh, but we'll have to see that. For now, in order to sail, you have to prep the boat. Putting up the sails, putting on the lines, and the last one was the rod kicker. So welcome back and let's go. The rod kicker. Thingy is back in place. Now the only thing I need to do is clean the boat because it is dirty, 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 extremely dirty. And here's the instrument of choice. Just need a bucket and then I'm ready to go. So the next time you look, it will be all clean because I'm not gonna film it. You know how it works, so. Aha, I made a great improvement, if I may say so myself. No more duct tape up here. Also cleaned it because it was, well, dirty. Uh, I made this with a winding, which now is sticky as hell. Two ropes to connect it, one, two. Drilled a hole in here. Yeah, sorry, couldn't do it anything else, any way else. And now I put in a little mat, so not all the onions go rolling in and out. At uh, every inconvenient moment. So, all in all, very good. I have little lights here, which are very handy actually during the night because they're not that, well, how do you say that? Bright. Uh, and there is another one which is a bit brighter and it works as well. So, I am super happy with this setup. It makes me really uh, happy. Really happy, yeah. Definitely really happy. And as a sailor, you might recognize this. You sometimes have these small, little annoying things like this. And then if you fix it, you're extremely happy with that. And there was actually one other thing and that had to do with the anchor winch because I couldn't lock it anymore for no obvious reason. So I thought, let's figure that out. Ah, I'm on a roll. I'm doing all these annoying jobs that I normally keep procrastinating. This one has been puzzling me a bit. Because the issue is this one is stuck. But there is a imbusche. So I'm going to open it up with me imbusche seki. And then I'm going to see whether or not I can do something about it. Because it is sort of annoying. 
as this thing sort of is very helpful when you can use it at the right moment. So let's see if I can open it. Maybe I can even do it with one hand so you can enjoy the moment. Oh, that's not helping. It's like too big, too small. Let's hope it's not an English thing. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was easy. Ah, mooi schoongemaakt, hè? Oh, heel mooi. Yes, prachtig. So, Mr. Command on the on the side. So let's see what was the issue here. Was there an issue? I st yes, there was an issue because the thing wasn't moving, and I think it just got stuck. Because there's not a whole lot to it. This is it. Okay. Now, well, I'll just put some grease in. Blow out the water, put it both back together, and we're ready to go. Good. In honesty, this is a fairly simple thing on the top of it, at least. So there is this ring that keeps the chain in. And there is this top thing that goes on top. There's this bit that goes up there. And I greased the rubber ring. I greased this little thing and you just connect it like that and then you put back in the bolt, clean the water out of it, that should be okay by now, and then you tighten it and here comes the interesting part because if you tighten it really tight, which in my opinion it was just a little bit too tight. I'm gonna experience this. You know, if you make it really tight, it that's just not very handy actually. So I guess just needs a bit of play, I guess. I don't know. Tighter, looser? That's good, I don't know. Tighter. And then it kind of locks itself, so I'm gonna stick with this uh, that's you see it sort of locking itself so maybe I should put some tight lock on the bolt ah, that could be the problem well you can also try it like this worst thing that can happen is the bolt goes up and can it hit something no, it's on this chain, so it can't hit anything. So I think I'm gonna go with this. Just leave it as is, put this back on. Oh, Smoosh is right in place. Clickety click click. That one on top. And then I need to push this one back in. This keeps the whole thing from falling off. model voltage well voltage this one runs on sandwiches man just plain bloody muscles yeah loctite is there for a reason just use it i have to open it again and put some loctite on it because oh it is locking itself in there and it's gonna be a tad interesting because there is all sorts of grease in there so I first need to get that out and then I need to see if the Loctite actually sort of grips but that I will probably only find out later. So let's see. Okay, dab of medium Loctite is on. Let's see if I can get it in place. Make it medium strong like this. That's it. Okay, it's on. Let's bring this one back. That's on. 
now we'll connect this back up. There we go. So there is a uh, uh, Loctite in there, so I'm not going to move it too much. But I do need to put back this thing. Let's see. That's one. That's two. And hopefully, we're done. Yay! That would be nice for a change. And then with the Loctite, I hope this time it sticks. Go. That's it. Surface the muir, 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 whatever you call it. The winch. Good. Back. Chain. Like that. So it's nicely from the ground. Go. Well, good. All good. Still works. So, fixed that one, but there was actually one additional thing. So, I'm not sure if you actually remember, but I bought a little kayak and it's right there. And behind it, there used to be a Zodiac 320. But that actually took a lot of space and launching it on your own is quite a bit of a thing. So I had a sort of a final test in which I thought, what happens if I actually go pedaling with that thing a bit further than just around about the boat? So I took it for a spin. Sport instead of a sport. I think I need to think about that. That was quite far actually. Uh, I have to show it on the map, but for the first time, quite nice. And now I'm gonna do what was it, Ray Charles sang? Sitting on the Watching time pass by. I don't know the, the lyrics anymore. I do know that this is quite comfortable doing absolutely nothing. Being blown back to where I came from. Probably with one or two adjustments, but besides that, not a whole lot to do for me, but make it comfortable. <laughs> The fact that there, at this particular moment, is no Zodiac means that I felt the test with the little kayak was successful. So I off-boarded the Zodiac um, and for this year I think it should be okay. And with that, it's another wrap. It's another episode of Sailing Windrose. Um, next episode I will be sailing again. So. If you want to see how the season opens with sailing, hit subscribe. If you like this episode, leave a thumbs up. And if you have a comment on maybe the anchor winch or on my little fruity net here for improvements, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I'll love to interact with you guys. So I uh, hope to see you next time. Stay safe. Cheers, boys and girls. <laughs>